So, so, it's not even freaking recording. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> there we go. Now it's recording. Okay, guys. <laughs> Stop. I'm through with y'all. Okay, so let me, I'm putting myself on screen because y'all being stupid, okay? So, we are at the first podcast, GG Podcast, Gaming Gurus Podcast, okay? Okay. Everybody here? Everybody here? Yep, yep. Yeah, we're here. Okay. So, everyone, uh, want to give yourself, well, if you want to give an introduction, you can do that. You know me? I'm the person on the channel, Miss Toy Toy. Don't laugh at my name. Okay. So, play League mostly. You guys know that. If anyone wants to add me, my name is, uh, what's my name on League? SP Toy Toy. So if anybody wants to join me, I'm in Silver, finally. And yeah, I'm ready to, uh, talk about some games and shit. Next. I'm anybody? Joe, <laughs> and I like games. Just playing some PS4 right now because I'm freaking tired of League, taking a little break. <laughs> I got carried to gold and I'm good for the season. So. We got carried to gold. Thanks. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm Jabari. I also play some League. I don't know why y'all said your real names. I don't know if y'all noticed. I said Miss Toy Toy. Well, you know what? Doesn't matter. <laughs> also Doesn't known matter. as that guy J Man, aka JB, aka Bari. Poopy. My end game name. Poopy. Or... Is that guy J Man? I main ADC and I'm in silver right now, silver two, trying to get into gold. Okay, okay. So, nice. starting off, um, now you all have seen my video. Um, I put up what was it a few weeks ago about sixty dollar games, right? Yes, yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, I guess I just want everyone's opinion as far as um, what in your opinion is uh, a game like what what makes a game worth sixty dollars so I'll, I'll just go ahead and I'll start off first so um, well me like okay first of all this like I said it's my opinion a game that comes out every year so I know you're gonna say some shit Jabari I'm talking about Call of Duty so I don't want to hear no shit okay <laughs> so you know it comes out every year even besides that we got freaking the sports games that come out every year I mean it's not really a big difference um, I don't see why we should pay $60 every year for the same game um, <clears throat> excuse me so you know it's, it's like if, if you're coming out with a game every year I feel like um, you know everything should be there I don't I don't freaking I don't rock with pre-order bonuses Shut up, Jabari. I know what you're going to talk about. But I don't rock with pre-order bonuses. I don't rock with, um, you know, first day patches, all this shit. It's like the game should be complete. I don't rock with um, DLC, season passes, all that stuff. Because especially, like I said, Call of Duty, you're paying 60 bucks for the game. You're getting it as soon as it comes out. And then um, an extra, what, 30, 45 bucks for the freaking um, map packs and shit, right? So, in my opinion, um, you know, I, I just want a game that is, I don't know, like when I'm done with it, I feel like I can come back to it. I know every game's not going to be like that, but um, until dawn, I played that. The game was short as hell. Freaking heard uh, the order 1886, I wanted that game. The game was short as hell. I'd rather play a game that's like really long, like, you know, The Witcher's out. You know, I don't know if I'm going to get it. But I'd rather play a game that's, like, really long and has a lot of content. So pretty much that's my thing. Have enough content to keep me occupied. I don't want repetitive shit. I want some new stuff. You know, whatever. I, I don't know. But that's that's just my opinion, how I feel about it. I want something with enough content to keep me occupied. I don't want repetitive stuff. The same stuff from last year. The same stuff from the year before. I want some new stuff. So, you know, these franchises coming out and annualizing their games, it's getting annoying to me because it's, it's no really no big difference, um, you know, between 
this year and last year's game. I don't know, but that's just me. So, anyone else want to hop in there? Want to take this one, Joe? Because <clears throat> I got a lot to say since the boy wants to run. <laughs> All right, I'll throw in some comments before you you back at it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm just trying to think. The last time I bought a game for full price at sixty dollars, and it's, I guess, there's not many. The last one I got was the Kingdom Hearts 2.5, just because like that's my shit, man. <laughs> It's like my number one game and like that's one series that I'll pay like full price for and I guess technically that wasn't even full price it was like $40 right. whole thing then like I was happy to spend that money on that game because I like it and so even mm -hmm. though I got a PS4 a couple months ago and I gotta say I have not bought a game at full price I gotta add you yeah <laughs> my bad go ahead <laughs> Uh, yeah, but I still have not bought a game full price. I always wait for deals or like, I don't know, there's sales all the time on like Amazon and stuff. And so like one thing, like my thoughts is that I, here in America, we got a free market technically. And so America. what that means is what we buy is what people like developers make. And so we're in this like period right now where like these MOBAs where you you buy a bunch of additional content and skins and like stuff and like if you look up like the sales and like like on Dota 2 and League like how much money they make off of people like off of a free game it's like, ridiculous <laughs> the attitudes of games today I feel are about to make money off of people rather than to make like a full fledged game it's, like I guess I can't even speak because yeah I like skins on League too but also like so mm. many games this generation are like remasteries like a remastery right. of like, Final Fantasy X and shit and so it's like I paid $50 back in the day to get Final Fantasy X and then I also paid another 40 to get it <laughs> on the PS3 a long time ago and, like, and then the, so I paid $90 to play the same game twice and I don't know. And then we just let it happen. Like we keep buying it. I'm, I guess I'm part of the problem. But I mean, well, that like the whole remastered thing, because you know I'm a huge fan of the Shadow Shadow Colossus is one of my favorite games. Like mm -hmm. I bought that on PS2. I bought the remaster on PS3. And I swear to God, if they come out with remaster on PS4, I'ma cop it. Cause you know that that's that's like the a perfect example of a game that um you know i feel like you can keep coming back to us it's, it's a good story it's simple and it's i don't know i don't really under, I, don't, I don't really know how to explain it it's just the story is addicting i guess like even though i know what's going to happen at the end i can still keep coming back to the game so i guess that's what we're lacking we're lacking um games that really don't have like that I guess story that you can just freaking keep coming back to over and over again cuz you know we're in a multiplayer age that's it. It's not really a lot of uh, a lot of games that put a lot of effort into the story, but that's just me speaking because I'm a story type gamer as well. So, yeah. And would you say kind of like games now that kind of like lack creativity? Yeah. <laughs> I I would say it's harder to find because a lot of the smaller gaming studios have been uh, bought like bought up by larger ones, and so. Mm -hmm. Their games, they do, or well, I guess they are like less inspired. I feel, and you really have to go out into smaller developers and like indie games, like so to say, to find like thinking out of the box, like Rocket I League. Mean, have yeah. you played that? <laughs> <laughs> no, but I've seen so much about it. It is fun. But I mean, there's like such a tendency for like these mainstream games to be so like similar to each other, like. I don't know, like the new, I was in the, what, the Star Wars Battlefront beta, and so mm -hmm. it felt like a battlefield, <laughs> like with a Star Wars skin on it, like, I don't know, yeah. oh, I know I just played the, de the beta, but still, like, it's, they're just so similar, and like, even with the Star Wars, like, freshness, it still kind of felt stale to me, I don't know. Look at game, and I just saw, like, Battlefield. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm so sorry. Yeah, damn. <laughs> I'm sorry. Continue, continue, my bad. No, like, I've I seen the game as well. 
and I had a friend at work who was like, he bought the beta. It's, it's, I mean, not bought the beta, but played the beta, and it, it just looks just like a Battlefield. It looks pretty cool, though. I would probably play it. I'm over multiplayer guy, so I wouldn't mind trying, giving it a shot, playing it. I like it. I'll play it. Yeah, and I want to play it too, and I probably will buy it, but then I'll still be mad at myself for buying like a game that <laughs> isn't like all that like original, you know? I don't yeah. know. Like me, I'm probably gonna end up just waiting for um, someone to review it before I actually buy it. Um, that's pretty much what I've been doing with a lot of my games. I just wait. Um, like the like honestly, if I can, I, I'm thinking about it right now. There really aren't any games that's coming out that I'm like looking forward to purchasing so like i would ugh, freak i can't even think of an example like i know you, okay y'all talking about star wars like i'm not a huge star wars fan i played battlefront on ps2 like that game was super fun when i played it then so you know seeing it coming out back again like, i gotta i don't know it's it's kind of i don't know and then like i'll use an example freaking um i don't know if any of you all played tony hawk games yes no uh -huh. Okay, so, um, <laughs> so I played I played Tony Hawk games um, when I was younger. They came out with five recently. And apparently, that game was shit. It was terrible, and a lot of people they bought it because of the name, the fact that it's a Tony Hawk game. They thought it was gonna be good, but they got disappointed in the end because it was. I think you only had a a few characters. I think the main thing that they were trying to uh, using the gimmick of freaking Lil Wayne was in the game. You can skate as Lil Wayne. And there was no creative, uh, creative player stuff like that. I think it was always online. I'm not sure. And it, it was just people, people hated it because and then they're like feeding off of the whole thing of oh well we're gonna go ahead and get these these people that played Tony Hawk as kids. They're gonna see oh a new Tony Hawk game. They just gonna cop it. It's it's kind of like you taking advantage of the consumer there. But you know, I like myself. Like I said, I don't. It's not really a lot of games I'm looking forward to. If I want to buy it, I'm probably just going to wait for a review before I buy it because I don't want to waste my money on something, and I'm not really sure because some of these companies, some of these developers, they just tear up some of these franchises. Like, it's, it's ridiculous. Yeah, and you bring up a point. I really think games now, the majority, are meant to make money. They're not to make, like, a, like a great immersive game, which, I mean, they do to an extent. It's just I don't think it's the same as it used to be. Nah, it ain't. <laughs> honestly, though, like that honestly depends on the game and the type of game it is. So, like if we're looking at if we're looking at multiplayer versus um, story games, mm -hmm. I can say like today, yeah, mostly um, most of the story games, they're they kind of they're bland. They're, it's usually just to make money, or it's just like really short. Mm -hmm. Like good example would be um, well, two good examples would um, be comparing. Shout out Mordor. Shadow of Mordor. So, um, what's that game you just bought, Latoya? The, um, the game with the the scary, um, the scary the game. The like, Until Dawn? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Comparing both of those games, like Shadow of Mordor, it has so much extra content within the game that it is actually amazing. It's fun to play. It's fun. Mm -hmm. I, I can sit there and watch a walkthrough of it. Yeah, just look at that. Doing it's that. Amazing. You gotta remember those are two two different types of games as well. Because if technically Shadow of Mordor is kind of like an open world game, so they purposely, you know, you have your main story. You can also do side missions, which is extra content there. I mean, okay, then let's not compare that. Then let's go ahead and compare Until Dawn to something like um, just just compare to I'll say like another linear game because that's pretty much a linear game. What's the name of that zombie game? What Last of Us? Yeah. Game I would take Last of Us over until on any day. But the thing is, compared to both of those, comparing both of those, like the Last of Us, they even threw in something little, which was just multiplayer. I mean, it was somewhat fun, I guess you can say. But I liked it. I mean, I wouldn't sit and like constantly play like, oh man, it's just this is <laughs> like, hey, the new, this is the new Call of Duty. No, no, nah, I ain't say that. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna play it for a little bit. It's gonna be fun. And then, I mean, besides that, I'm gonna go back and play the um game. Compared to um, Until Dawn, I mean, really good story. I don't like it was a good story, but it was really short. Was short, yeah. I'm not saying that it was bad. I wouldn't want to play it, but go ahead. On, go ahead. I'm sorry. <laughs> the thing you guys brought up earlier, when you kept on, when you mentioned the games that y'all really like, like I can say I'm a I'm a Call of Duty fan. I haven't played too many newer Call of Duties because I haven't had a console in all recently, but I kept up with them. I looked at stuff. I would buy that game every year. I would. 
I'm not even gonna lie. The game is fun itself. It's designed to be multiplayer. People that play, if you play for the story, it's good. And you, when you play, no, it's for not. Something, <laughs> it ain't I memorable. Say if, I say it's good if you do it, <laughs> but most of the time, everyone knows that you're playing it, you're not playing it for the story. You, you get yeah. through the story within like maybe three hours. And then you pop straight online because you want to get your prestige. You want to go ahead and play against everybody. It's just a really competitive scene. Mm -hmm. That's all it really is. And like, if you really like the game, then I'll say yeah, it's, it's worth that sixty dollars. If you, I mean, if you, if maybe well, if you like the series, I mean, if you don't care for the series, then why are you gonna waste your money? Then you can go ahead and wait for a third party, you know, to go ahead and actually sell it at a cheaper price. I'm like Joe was saying, Amazon, mm -hmm. you can go to eBay, you can go in, almost anywhere on the internet and find the game for cheap. Then what about like, okay, if we want to go, because you're saying you would buy it every year. So let's go ahead and talk about like the games that are starting to become like annual. They're, they're making the franchise annual, like Assassin's Creed. I was a freaking. I'm, I love that series. Well, I used to, I should say. I, I love the first three games. Well, the ones that were part of the main story. You know, you had the regular Assassin's Creed, Assassin's Creed Two, then Brotherhood, Revelation, and then three. So. Pretty much the whole main story, you know. After the main story, after Desmond died, like it went downhill. Like I'm looking at my games right now. I got Black Flag, and that game was terrible in my opinion. And that was that the last, was huh? That was the best pirate game I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah, it was a it was a freaking pirate game with assassins. It was stupid. <laughs> and like I and now like Unity came out last year. Like I heard that was a terrible release. It had so many bugs and stuff in it. That was broken. It really. Yeah. So you can't even play it. Yeah. I watched the the freaking walkthrough of it. I really didn't. The story was like, what? I don't even remember what the story is about. And then, you know, Syndicate just came out. Or is it? I think, I don't know if it's out or it's yeah. just coming out. But, you know. Came out. Yeah, because I had actually looked at a, a review. Um, somebody had reviewed it early, and it was like, don't waste your money on that. It's copy paste. It's pretty much it. And it's. It's like they're, they're annualizing these, these franchises, like Battlefield. Um one of my shooters I actually played. Like, I played three... Battlefield 3 was my first Battlefield. I actually bought premium so I can get all the maps and stuff. I had fun with that. Battlefield 4, copy-paste. Battlefield Hardline, forgettable as hell. Like, it was fun. I played it, and I forgot about it once another game came out. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, it's it seems like, you know, when they annualize the franchises, I feel like it just... It, it doesn't, like, I know they're, they're trying to make money every year, but it, it's not good for the franchise at all. Because, like I said, Assassin's Creed, I used to love it, and I could care less now. And it, it, it kind of it kind of hurts a little bit, because, you know, I really did enjoy that series, honestly. So, I, I don't know. Well, honestly, I want to say just, it just depends on the way they do it. Like, looking at, look going back to, like, Call of Duty, you can look at it, and for some reason... Compared to, comparing to like Assassin's Creed and like any other game that's being annualized this year, Call of Duty has been doing it for a while, and they're doing it right apparently, because they still got a giant fan base. Their market, their target market is actually the same as before. They're making a lot of money off of it. And then if we look, compare them to the games that's within their within their field sh of the shooters, I mean they have Crisis. Crisis wasn't really. I, mean, I never played it, to be honest. I wanted to... Amazing. Yeah. Battlefield still off. I mean, you got Destiny that just, like, dropped somewhere of a mixture between, like, what, Halo and... What was the other game? I can't remember off the top of my head right now, but honestly, it's just... It's huh. just not, it's not remember the best. Titanfall is supposed to be the Call of Duty killer? <laughs> that game disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> it really did. <laughs> like, uh, it was, Cool idea to go ahead and be like, oh yeah, you got a mech you can stand on and you can shoot. But like, <laughs> I haven't heard anything about that game. <laughs> All right, so since we're talking about how the franchises are, I guess, well, besides Call of Duty, since you love Call of Duty, you know, franchises are destroying. The fr well, French, oh my god. Developers are destroying franchises by annualizing games. Um, what would you all say would be something that we could do as the consumer? Like, what can we do to change that? I mean, I know we, we only have so much power, but, you know, the consumer, we can do something. We can complain. We can not buy. 
uh, buy from third party, just like you all said, you know, what do you think would be the most effective way, um, you know, to try try to be heard? What can we do to try to be heard and say, hey, we, we want better games, I guess. Anybody? I guess I have a couple thoughts. Like, I, I know this is like a love-hate thing, but I actually have respect for Nintendo, and I really think they <laughs> don't, like, over... I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> they don't, like, they don't, like, overdo their series. Like, Zelda, like, it comes out, it doesn't come out every year, every other year or something, and when they do release it, like, it's right. And, like, I hate this, like, Final Fantasy Thirteen Versus, which is now Final Fantasy Fifteen. It's been in works for so freaking long, but they're like, hey, we're going to get this right before we release it. And so I actually think I hate buying games used because none of the money goes to the developer. And so then that all goes to like GameStop or wherever you get it. So mm-hmm. I try to buy new, new so then the developers get the money. And so they get supported for work that I like. So like I guess like when I got to Kingdom Hearts like brand new last time I went directly through Square Enix to make sure that they heard like, hey, like I support what you're doing, like here's my money. So then Best Buy doesn't get a cut and then like UPS for shipping and no no no. Just make sure nobody get their money. <laughs> I mean UPS get their money either way. You gotta get to you. <laughs> right, true. Unless you wanna drive while we over there and pick it up. <laughs> yeah, no, I know. I was just, just <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, I try to support developers directly because that's like their consumer voice like that they hear. Like that's how they hear us is the money. Yeah. Hmm? Barry, thoughts? Where do you want me to go? I mean, honestly, if I really like the game, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to drop it. Like I said, I'll drop the 60. But I just I just happened to hear about it. I looked into it. Like, no offense, but I'm not going to. I will go ahead and get out buy from a third party. Because I don't want to. Me as a consumer, I'm not going to go ahead and, like, waste my money if I. And be unsure if. I, excuse me. Be unsure if I like it. If, I, um, if I'm going to like it or not. It's like, a good example would be like the, um, like I said, the new Call of Duty is coming out. God, you talk about Call of Duty every freaking time. <laughs> they're gonna have the Juggernaut edition. Here we go. He, 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 I told you he was gonna talk about this. Watch. Here we go. Watch. Go ahead. But, tell, tell, tell us what's in there. Tell us what's in there. It's good. No, I ain't even gonna tell you. Everybody can figure out their show. <laughs> <laughs> no, it looks good. It, get, it comes with like a bunch of stuff inside there. It looks pretty cool. Mm-hmm. They messed up on one thing, like the fridge that they know um, that comes with it. Oh, it comes with the fridge, huh? Uh, juggernaut, this um, <laughs> Juggernaut perk fridge from the zombie, um, from the zombie um series. Only thing they messed up is it doesn't play the song. A lot of people actually, when they first seen it, they're actually kind of disappointed that it, it doesn't play on um, the Juggernaut song, which would have been pretty cool actually. But besides that, I mean, I'm going, I'm going to spend my money. I'll spend my money to go ahead and get that. I think it's really cool. I like the game. I'm gonna go ahead and put my put my sixty bucks. Well, adding on to that, however much, down just to get that. But like I said, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna drop my money for something I don't I don't really care about. Like another game I'll drop my money for is freaking um Life is Strange. <laughs> you wanna game. buy that? Amazing. <laughs> yeah, I would. It's a real, yeah, it's worth a buy. It's worth a buy. I told you it was worth a buy. I'm not gonna buy it, but because <laughs> she's not buying it, I'm buying it. I already seen I'm it. I'm gonna buy it. Buy it. It's 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 really good. I told my friend when I was getting out the card, like what Saturday. It's worth it's worth the buy. Just go ahead and look at it. Mm-hmm. You you're gonna like this, man. <laughs> yeah, but what I was gonna say, the whole thing, like I mean, y'all kind of went the opposite way of what my question was. It's cool though, but <laughs> so I was like, what do you do? What do you do when, you know, you want them to improve? Which, you know, you're, when you want to support a company, I... I third party. <laughs> you don't want to support it, but like Joe said, he's going to go ahead. He'll buy it from them if he likes it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, that's what I was going to say. Like, if, if you like a franchise, you want them to keep, you know, stay up and running, go ahead and, and buy, buy it from them. Um, and then you pretty much do the exact opposite if you don't support them. So... But the only thing, huh? Or be cheap. Yeah. <laughs> the only thing is, 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 is kind of, um, because I was gonna, I don't know if any, well, I don't know about you, Joe, if you play um any of the sports games, but you know, two K, NBA, two K, NBA Live, you know, they're kind of in competition with, with each other. Two K is the top 
you know, basketball. Well, they were the only basketball game at one point. Lot. I'm sorry, had text. Um, oh, Clash of Clans. Damn, I'm getting raided. Whatever. <laughs> um, I was about to say, um, 2K. 2K is huge. They're pretty much the only um, basketball game out. And then Live came back after, you know, however, however many years they weren't, um, you know, in the picture. And everybody's a freaking 2K fanboy for whatever freaking reason. And 2K sucks. Like, it. Like, I'm not trying to say it's a bad game. It's just there's so many, like, issues and bugs and stuff. It's like, there's an exploit where you can make um, a point guard seven foot tall, like a center, and then they can still shoot threes and rebound. It's like, you shouldn't be able to freaking do that. You're six feet tall. Why the hell should you be running down the freaking court? Like, <laughs> it doesn't make any sense at all. So, you know, in live they actually have the implemented restrictions I believe so depending on what position you're playing you can only be a certain height you can only have like a certain uh, like you have a cap on certain skills or whatever however you know the name is like I guess I don't play basketball games like that I just hear from other people um, but in this case 2k is they're the top basketball game right now so if they weren't um, they, they pretty much don't care, so they're still going to get their money because you got dudes out here that buy 2K just because it's 2K. Meanwhile, you got Live that's actually listening to the consumer and actually trying to make things better for themselves and go ahead and fix things that 2K isn't doing. So they're listening to the complaints, even though they're not getting all the, the money coming in like 2K is. Eventually, 2K may be the freaking loser here. I mean, maybe not next year, maybe not two or three years, maybe five years, I don't know, but it's, I don't, I'm just trying to, trying to figure out what, what do you all think would be the biggest, what hurts the most, um, not what hurts the most, but, um, what has a bigger effect, I'm sorry, the money not coming in, or, you know, people complaining about your product, so I guess it, it kind of depends on where the, 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 um, the company is, I guess, so with 2K, they're not hurting if some people refuse to buy their game, like maybe a couple hundred people refuse, because they're, they're a top, you know, basketball game out there. Meanwhile, live, they need to do all they can, listen to their consumer, because they're not getting a lot of sales, like, they freaking, I was listening to um, none of the podcasts, they said um, NBA Live only sold like 8,000 copies within the first, I don't know, couple weeks or something in the whole freaking country <laughs> so that's not funny but <laughs> the whole freaking country so obviously they don't they're not getting the sales so they they gotta fix fix some stuff some other way so they just listen to the complaints and stuff but i don't know if that makes sense or not but yeah <laughs> i'm just i guess i'm just trying to ask like what what do you think has bigger impact the the people complaining or the people not purchasing the game. So my opinion, like I said, is not purchasing the game. Because um, eventually, you're going to be hurting somewhere down the line. Your employees aren't going to get paid. You're not going to get paid. Eventually, you're going to have to start changing some shit if you want to get get your freaking food on the table. But that's just me. So, thoughts? I guess it really depends <laughs> on the developer. Like, like if I don't know. Some of them are open to criticism and taking, like, suggestions from their fan base. Like, just an article the other day was <coughs> about the new Zelda, and they're like, yeah, we want to work in some of the fans' like ideas and stuff, but we don't want to take them all because then they know what to expect with the new Zelda. And right. I think cool. And, like, one thing, like, the Assassin's Creed Unity, that failed. But actually now it's playable and they did a lot of work and like worked off the community's I guess complaints or maybe just the overall not working of the game <laughs> that they yeah. like they fixed it and like and they did that like as a free patch like they didn't charge to do that which a lot of games will charge for the extra content but yeah. I don't know I think that's respectable and so it's something to remember down the line I think damn if our other company's gonna do that cause I mean because, like, once you buy, you know, they they got your money. So, like, it's a difference between buying their game and then complaining about it and then not buying the game and complaining. So, I mean, if you buy it, they already got your money. If you don't, yeah. I mean... I mean, 
The thing is, though, if you buy it, you buy it and you complain, although they got your money, you are so risking. If you're complaining over um, any type of form or on Reddit or just through Facebook, through friends, they're losing out on customers that pretty much may be skeptical to buy it and look at it and find out that they really don't care for it or, sure. it or they just decide, I'm not going to buy this at all. My friend told me, so and so Joe over there said, this is going to be bad game. So I ain't finna buy the new Kingdom Hearts. Toy said Call of Duty's gonna be ass. So I mean, you know what? I might get it, but still. <laughs> so if I say Call of Duty's, okay, okay, that's cool. You <laughs> know that it's gonna it's gonna be bad. I'm such a game. After I found out it's bad as well. Okay, okay. Yeah, so. and just my last thought is that like, if what the main majority of gamers want right now is like call of duty like and if that's what's selling like that isn't a problem i guess that makes us kind of the problem because we don't like that kind of game so we just have to support what we do like and so we know our voices are heard too yeah true even if we don't like what the trend is right now like it won't always be that so i guess just support what we like while we can okay they also just touch up really quick on um that live thing Mm-hmm. Marketing. Oh, like they, they haven't had that too much marketing for the game, so I mean, that's just a common business strategy. Your marketing's not good, of course, you're not gonna sell good. Yeah, I know, but then you gotta remember, that's like, game in the world, but the customers aren't gonna I make mean, customers can share it and all, but other they don't, customers, um, customers don't see it maybe on TV, through internet, through some type of ad. You can throw an ad on the app on the phone. Mm-hmm. I mean, how are they gonna really know unless they keep up with it? And, Trust me, live. I don't remember the last time they made a game. But didn't you say you had like the what was it back in '05 or something? I think? Yeah, I had the old one back then. Like I, I stopped <laughs> playing because stopped playing live back then. I like the I like live because they had the dunk contest. And around that time, I think 2K was always real. I think. But 2K did not have dunk contests, or maybe they did. But for some reason, I really like live dunk contests. It was something new, new feature. It was amazing. But <laughs> main. 2K, they start to implement that in some of their games. Over time, 2 everyone started playing 2K before people bought 2K. Live was actually pretty garbage compared to them. Their control system compared to 2K is actually really, really weird. It made you not really want to, really want to play. Like, I believe Live, a control system that they had you using the right analog stick to actually like shoot or uh, shoot and do other stuff. I can't remember, but it was just a weird control. That made some people just like stray away from it. And whereas 2K, I mean, hold X, you shoot. You go ahead, you can go ahead and left, or right on a right um, stick. You go ahead and um, do it, um, some type of move. Now they have it to where you can go ahead and do certain commands with the right stick, the right analog stick. You can go ahead and do a spin or anything, which is pretty cool. I mean, if you're like, if you play. If you play sports games and like you, you really get into it, like you're that type of competitive person that really likes playing them, then you want to know more about it just to go ahead and further your advantage over others, right? Mm-hmm. So. Okay, okay. Anybody got any other comments or anything? Because if not, I mean, we can wrap it up. Nah, nice talking with you guys. I think I'm good here. <laughs> I'm here. Are you here? Okay, so don't do any. Well, you know what? Y'all want to do some stupid sounds? I don't care. Do like, <laughs> oh my god, I knew y'all was going to do that. <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, we we just need like one. We don't need a bunch. <laughs> y'all done? You done? Okay, so that can. Conclu- I'll wait. Okay. <laughs> so that. <laughs> That concludes our first episode on the podcast. So, um, I'm through with y'all. I'm so through with y'all. Anyway, so for the for, for the viewers, like if you all have any um, suggestions as far as any topics you want us to talk about, this is just my own idea of following up on um, one of my videos, getting everyone's opinion. So. You know, you can always, you know, leave a comment if you had a suggestion for a topic or, you know, whatever. Just, I like feedback. I'm trying to improve. I'm trying to, you know, I want to make everything enjoyable for everybody. So, 
Um, I guess that's pretty much it. So, anybody else got anything to say? No, yes, no, maybe. That's it. <laughs> I'm doing y'all. We, 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 we done. We gone. So, that's a wrap. All right. <laughs> See y'all. Got any, any signs? <laughs> Yeah, leave a comment, like it, subscribe, you know, do all that that shit's knit. So um uh, yeah, we out. Catch y'all on the next podcast.